introducing Phi 3 Vision. Now this is a really new small size LLM AI models released by Microsoft. This is releasing just yesterday. And why is that? Because they have also released a co-pilot PC new concept for your laptop, your personal computer desktop. You can run AI with their new unit called the NPU. So that is called the Neural Processing Unit. Well, they are getting some new terms rather than using CPU and GPU right now. This is the NPU that focusing for more doing the AI processing. How it computing with large language models, AI, any kinds of AI models like that. And the Copilot Plus PC is a concept that going to be bring in our Windows update. I believe that is going to be soon putting in the Windows 11. So yes, they have showing this all these numbers of new features and updates to Windows 11 and it is going to be by default. Everybody have Windows 11 going to be available for us. And also the Copilot features that coming from Microsoft are also able to run together with all other Microsoft software products such as the Microsoft Teams, PowerPoint, Outlook, Word, Excel, OneDrive, etc. and all that. All that is are going to be AI-enabled software, and that is the trend of what we are, you know, coming up. And one really cool thing that I saw that we are also able to use the autopilot and AI features in Adobe Photoshop by default. And the really good thing is that the Vinci Resolve Studio are also available for using the NPU to accessorize the AI features for video editing and as well as CapCut. While CapCut have been released a lot of AI features previously, and they are keep evoluting and keep updating with all new cool stuff. The Microsoft Phi 3 Vision that is going to be basically running in your co-pilot. I believe what they are seeing right now is that they are going to using the Phi 3 Vision, the smallest size, which is the 4 billion parameter size in the Phi 3 family. And that is going to be available in your upcoming Windows update. But right here in the hugging face, Microsoft are only publishing the Phi 3 Vision 128K Instruct model. So that is going to be available to download as well. And I have just downloaded in my local machines that is going to be two models. Two models files actually is the model 1 and model to save tensors files and there's other python and the tokenized json files that is included with the hugging face vials files in here so i just you know download this everything and see if we can try it out locally but if you don't have high-end gpu computer hardware to run it locally you can try that in the microsoft azure which is for a cloud computing developer platform from microsoft I have used that before for cloud computing and that is a um, pretty fast one, but they have started to enable Microsoft Azure like one or two years ago to enable AI and I have not been using that after all those updates. But looks like they have tried to catch up with the market right now is doing great. Microsoft have been doing lots of open source developments and is being successfully changing from a closed source from the old .NET framework styles and right now is getting to open source. As you can see in Visual Studio Code, you can connect with other open source code coding and Python and adding more components and plugins to Microsoft Studios, the Visual Studios right now. And they have, of course, the new AI models. The five three visions are also open source. So that's why they released the hugging phase files all right here that you can fine tune it or run locally with this model. And so you can try out in Windows Azure if you do not have high-end hardware configurations in your local PC. I will provide all this link in the video's descriptions. You guys can try it out. Maybe I will make a blog post and list all these links in the resources sections. So I have tried this example. This is one of the image from my image generations from Stable Diffusions. So I just attach that and ask, what is that the image is? and is fully described so well. It's just an example to prove that it is compatible for doing image recognition, recognizations, and also text generations as well. So this multi-model models are built up on the data set, which trained with image data set and also text data set. That is going to be very handy, I would say, if we are running that in locally in upcoming Windows 11 updates in the Copilot, 
because therefore for a small size, even like a 4 billion parameter size, that is going to be outperform a lot of other similar small size large language models, I would say. Let's see, they have one performance benchmark in here. So the benchmarking from Phi 3 Vision is well very close to some closed source or um, close AI models. And other open source AI models are like such as Lava Kilt and Llama 3. Like um, for the benchmark MMU, they are you know, of course, the new models is better than the other open source. So far, for the small size models like that, most of the things, and especially the science QA, is even better than GPT-4 Turbo on this benchmark. And it's kind of surprised for me. And other thing, like for, for example, the chart QA, which is mostly we send image of chart and asking inquiry questions about the chart, is able to be, you know, better than a lot of existing similar size large language model on the market and that is fantastic you know i would say that the ai industry are going to be better each time there's new model trained and released and that is no surprise but we see a small size large language model like that and microsoft they claim this is the small language models and yeah that is fine because that is really small size so for this size of language models, they can train up a very good performance. That is really nice. Good news for all Windows users that going to be using Copilot or whatever you want you to run it. Now currently they don't have the GGUF files in the files sections here. So we gotta download this in raw safe tensor files and you gotta run that in Python using the Python code if you want to do that in local machines. Now I have one script that is going to run in local machines and I'm going to post that as well in my blog post, links in the description below. And you guys can download that and check it out. So we will try to run this one more time in the Windows Azure. That is more handy for lots of you if you don't want to download a large file size and wait for, you know, 4 gigabytes and 3 gigabytes of file size and you want to run it instantly in here and you can do that. So let's try it. First, we got to refresh this as a new chatbot. So, you know, right here, we can start asking some very basic questions. So I've asked, introduce yourself and who made you? So it's a very convenient way to reply me. That is, his name is Phil and an AI model created by Microsoft to assist users, provide information, answering questions, finding solutions and various topics. So let's ask him, will you, will you going to be in Windows Copilot? So he's not, it is not sure. The AI model is not sure if that's integrate into Windows Copilot. But from the blog post, all the features of the Copilot Plus PC is going to be using something like that from their videos, introductions that, you know, answering simple inquiry and there are some image recognitions also for AI, text to speech, all kind of stuff I think that is going to be. But in general answer, of course, the AI models won't answer you this type of question. So let's do something with an image. So let's say I got some other AI image generated and as. Okay, so I upload an image here. And so we got to ask what is in the image. Tell me where it is possibly be. So actually, this is the AI generate image of urban city styles. But you know, I have asked like where it will possibly be located of this image because this is actually not a real image. So let's try to see what it comes up from their dataset training of this AI models. So the image are no busy city street along exposed spot of cars driving through. Yeah, that's right. And the sky is clear and sun setting cast forming the type of image associated with urban landscape in the city, like New York on Dubai and Shanghai, where such modern architecture and busy street are common. So I would say that the logic of this AI models are well going pretty good. It will not just tell you like a very dummy way where that location is. And there's no open-end answers or there's no such logics of think in the answer which this AI models answer me. That is possibly in some busy cities like New York, Dubai, or Shanghai, which is true. And the AI are getting, I will accept this kind of answer, like if it is not sure what kind of location that is. And it was giving me suggestions of where and what will be possibly from my questions. So that is a pretty good one. I will accept that. For a small size language models, let's add something about science like let's say black hole. 
okay? So that is a pretty good one, like lots of previous language models that if they don't know the answer or not sure what the answer is, they will be making up some kind of answer in their response. But, you know, from my answer, from my questions in here, is that how and where to form a black hole? And obviously, no one knows about black hole, how it forms and where it forms, right? Like even in the nowadays, the science and all the scientists cannot tell what exactly the formations of a black hole and, and what kind of energy that will be making this kind of black hole formed it, right? So that is, you know, be honest as the answer for an AI stay in the integrities. I think that is a good way rather than, you know, throwing all false answers and try to making up an answer looks like true something, a true answer or no. I think that is acceptable for a small language models like that. And, you know, be very practical using if that is going to be applied in our Windows 11 Copilot plus PC. And that is going to be benefit for you know, the young kid can be used and there is no false information, misleading things or going on, etc. So yeah, try out guys. This is the Phi 3 vision and I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.